We're going to look at some advanced modeling tools. Let's start by creating a new component. Let's draw a line on the X and Y plane. We'll draw a vertical line on the Y axis and a perpendicular line out. We're next going to create an arc and a center point arc. And we're going to click and ask for our start point and our end point. We'll click the, the dimension key to dimension this radius at two. We'll coincident this point and this point. And lastly, we'll dimension this height to 1.5 and complete our profile by connecting these last two points. Now I've got a closed loop. I'm also going to create a small fillet in our sketch menu on this corner here, and I'll make that a quarter inch. We're going to create a revolved body. So let's revolve this profile. And for the axis, we want to revolve this around the Y axis here. So we can select that from our drop down menu, 360 degrees, new body, we'll hit OK. And we should have a shape like a bowl that's filled in. Our next step is to create a few features off of offset planes. So let's turn on our visual style to shaded with hidden edges. So we can still see our shape, but this will allow us to work inside of our model. We'll go to our construct menu and we'll create an offset plane. Select the X and Y plane, and we're going to offset a plane two and a half inches. I'm going to continue to create a few offset planes from the X and Y at different distances, 3.5. Four point two five. Once you have about three offset planes from that X and Y axis, we're going to create a 2D sketch on the original X and Y plane. So I'll go to new sketch and select the X and Y plane. If you have trouble drawing with all of these planes here, that's no problem. If you want to get on your original plane here, you can actually turn these planes off by going to construction and just clicking the light bulb. I'll go back to my view. I'm going to draw a rectangle that is 0.5 by 1.5. And I'm going to fill it these corners at 0.25. Let's stop the sketch here and turn our construction planes back on. We're going to now project our original sketch onto each of these planes and change dimensions. Clicking P on the keyboard will allow us to select some geometries and also a work plane. So I'm going to click plane one to draw on and it's going to ask me what geometries I'd like to project. I'm going to select this line to project and hit OK. Now I can keep this outer profile and I can draw my two point rectangle from this point. This is going to stay at 0.5 and now my distance is going to be 1.4. I'm 
I'll do the same thing and round these corners off at 0.25. I'm going to continue to project my sketches and change certain parameters. Stop sketch, select P for project, and I'm going to project onto the next plane. I'm going to project this line and hit OK. Now from my top view, I can draw my two-point rectangle. I'm going to leave this at 0.5 and change this dimension to 1.2. Again, I will fillet these corners. To 0.25. I'll stop my sketch and I'll project one more time onto this last plane. And I'm going to project this line. I'll hit OK. Go to my top view. Select my two point rectangle. And I'll make this length 1.35. I'll go to my sketch, fillet command, fillet my sides at 0.25. I'll stop my sketch, and now you can see I have one, two, three, four profiles. We're going to use the loft command. So under create, we'll create a loft, and we're going to take these profiles and connect them together. So in order to do that, let's select each of our profiles. And we can see that it automatically averages out based on the distances and the profiles. Make sure it's a join operation so we're not cutting through our part. And we're going to hit OK. I'm now going to put shaded back on and we can see we've created a really nice profile and a lofted feature. Our next step is going to be to create an extruded feature coming out at a 90 degree angle. Let's create a new sketch and we're going to create a sketch on this plane. Again, it might be easier at this point to go back to your wireframe and we're going to make sure that we're creating a uh, two-point arc and we'll just create a line in space making sure that it is aligned to that uh, y-axis. I will create a, or a center point arc rather on this line. So I'll find the midpoint, that point, and then I will connect it to this point so you can see the arc. I'm going to use my dimension command and my radius here is going to be 0.75 and the distance from my center point to the origin is going to be 1.125. I'll stop my sketch and I'm going to extrude this 5.5 inches. So I'll use the E key, select my profile, and I would like this to be extruded in the other direction. So I need to be careful, and this will be negative 5.5. And again, I need this to be a join operation. I'll hit OK and turn my shaded back on. Now I've now created the outer housing. I can go uh, around my part and create some fillets. 
to smooth this out. So for the handle, I can go to modify, fill it, and I'm going to select this area here, this bottom area here, and this area here. Make sure you select the lines, not the faces. And I'm going to create a 0.15 fillet here and hit OK. That should smooth out our part really nicely. Our last step is to shell this part. So I'll bring this back to our home view and we can see we have a perfectly flat surface here. So we'll go to our Modify command, we'll shell, select this face and this face, and then enter your distance of 0.125, so 1 eighth. On the inside, we'll hit OK. And that should have cleanly shelled out your part and created a really nice mold. Let's save our part from here.